Hello and welcome to another coffee review for www.getbeamed.com. I'm the Mean Bean Machine and today we're looking at Square Mile's Red Brick Seasonal Espresso Beans. Now, uh, Square Mile are a bit of a name in London. So many independent shops use their coffee. Um, because they are kind of recognized as peak roasters. They're you know, really good at what they do. And red brick is something you will find so many places in, certainly in central London, north London. Um, it's, it's often used as like the house espresso. Um, I've had it before quite a few times, eh, but this is the first time I've bought the beans for myself. What I like about red brick is it's a seasonal espresso. So as the season changes, so does the ingredients and the flavors. Um, so you buy it throughout the seasons and it'll be slightly different in taste. Um, and I think that's something that's nice to do in terms of uh, coffee and bring attention to that because like any crop, it changes with the seasons and it, you know, it does vary. So expecting the same flavour and over, over, over and over again is not going to happen. Um, so I like that they, they kind of consciously say this and say, look, will we try and get, you know, similar tastes but it, it is seasonal so that's cool um this time around the tasting notes say red apple honeycomb and nougat which would suggest kind of a sweetness red apple would suggest you know a slight kind of acidity it's not kind of really acidic i would expect but it's from el meridano one third from el meridano colombia two thirds from cordelia del fuego costa rica so, you know, uh, Central American and South American mix there. So I wouldn't expect it to be too acidic. Just in general, African, West African coffees tend to be a bit more acidic. Um, but it should be quite smooth. The red apple, um, you know, will probably give it a kick, but, you know, not super acidic. Honeycomb and nougat. I don't know what nougat is getting at. I don't hear that uh, banded around a lot. Honeycomb will suggest possibly sweetness, but not too sugary. So we'll give it a sip as an espresso and see how it goes down. Yeah, nice, quite mild as an espresso. The red apple, like there is a slight sweet acidity cutting through that, but it's actually really, really quite mild. Uh, there's a little bit of darkness to it, a little bit of body that I'm, I'm quite liking. Um, as an espresso, I'm not a big espresso drinker, you know, as a single espresso, espresso drinker, I drink espresso drinks like lattes or flat whites. Um, but I don't tend to drink espresso, espresso shots on their own. But that's quite a mild one, I probably could do that quite nicely without it. It's not, it's mild, but it's not bland. I don't want to conflate the two things there. It's really pleasant in terms of that acidity is definitely there, but it's not strong. It's not kind of punching you on the tip of the tongue. So uh, yeah, we'll fill this up with oat milk and see how that works out. So I've added some oat milk into that. I won't really call it a latte because the pour is really not great. It's too hot today, to be honest, uh, for me to really put effort into anything. So um, anyway, we've, we've added some oat milk, so I'm expecting the kind of honeycomb nougari flavors to come out more so in like a sweet, creamy sensation. The honeycomb, hope you pick up more of a honey taste, yeah? Um, so we'll give it a sip and see how we find this. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, so yeah, as expected, the honeycomb and the nougat are actually really come through. There's a kind of that sweetness about that. In terms of a milky drink, uh, yeah, the, I'm surprised how strong the honeycomb comes through. Um, it's not kind of um, mince words. It's not. It doesn't taste like honeycomb. I've said this in several videos. It's not, you know, a direct flavour comparison. It's it's what those notes kind of evoke. Um, but I can see where they picked honeycomb from because there's that kind of light sweetness, almost syrupy, to it. So yeah, that's a really kind of nice sweet coffee actually really nice um and i guess that's what has made square mile so popular i am a big fan of them um now this bag is 350 grams and cost me 11 pounds from the square mile website themselves um they've got a whole range of kind of seasonal espressos there as well um which uh, like i say i'm really kind of keen on 
Um, so 11 pounds through 50 grams also isn't that bad um, since you're typically looking at about seven to 10 pounds for 250 grams. Um, so price is pretty good, you know, I guess it comes in, falls into that standard range. But yeah, let's give this another sip. Yeah, I definitely prefer it as a milkier drink because that honeycomb comes through. Uh, the acidity, I won't say the acidity has gone with the milk, the oat milk. Um, it's still there, but it's it's dulled, so it's it's quite a nice level of acidity. If you see what I mean, it just kind of it's just enough to cut through. So yeah, really lo lovely, uh, kind of rich and sweet. Um, it's actually quite complex. It's more complex than I thought it was, but it's it's a really lovely um, drink. Um, and yeah, like I say, big fan of Square Mile. I like the packaging. I like the fact that they have the street. I don't know if you'll be able to see that they've got the streets of London on their packaging, which is a really nice touch. Um, yeah, and it was quick delivery too. So yeah, full thumbs up for that. Thank you for watching. Do take care, like and subscribe and check us out on www.getbean.com. Thank you very much. Bye bye.